From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a bit. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. There's an Amber Alert for a missing girl from Palmetto. Investigators are looking for seven-year-old Ashley Ordaz. They think she's with her dad, Jesus Flores Gonzalez. Palmetto police tell us Ashley's mom let her dad take the girl over the holidays, and he agreed to drop her off this week. But now he's refusing. Police believe the two aren't in the area anymore, but they'd still like you to keep an eye out if they happen to come back. Well, if you were out and about near East Tampa, you probably saw all the black smoke in the sky. Now we know it came from a fire at a business. We're told the fire at Feta Scrap Metals happened just before 3 Saturday afternoon. That's on North 56th Street. They had to call an extra cruise to contain it. That area is mostly industrial and homes aren't too close by. We're still working to learn how this fire started. Out in Polk County, family members who lost loved ones on a busy Lakeland Road are going door to door. They're asking people to sign a petition for sidewalks. It's an update to a story ABC Action News has been following for months. Last October, Elanzer Gore was killed by a car on First Street. Two months later, a driver hit and killed Antonio Smiley. Police haven't made an arrest in that case. Now, Smiley's family is asking homeowners to sign the petition. They'd have to deed a portion of their land to make way for those sidewalks. In 2019, if they would have put up sidewalks in 2019, we would have saved at least four people's lives, including my son. An initial estimate shows the project would cost the county about $1 million. The county would also have to move mailboxes, lights, and negotiate with some homeowners to build over a portion of the yards. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams. It's going to be a warm one as we're looking at your Sunday outlook. In fact, we're on record watch where we could see potential records being challenged. The record in Tampa, 85. We're forecasting 83 to 85 for a lot of areas away from the coast tomorrow. We're also looking at increased moisture, higher humidity, and with this warmth, we'll actually see the sea breeze come inland in the afternoon. And like in the summertime, it may trigger a few isolated showers and storms. Now it's not going to be as widespread as the summer and notice through noon we're dry. But as we go through five and six o'clock, there you go along I-75. We're very traditional in the summer. We see those sea breeze thunderstorms firing up. That chance will be with us tomorrow night. Then as we go into your Monday outlook, we're going to watch a cold front come through. There it is right there. It'll come through by the afternoon, so we're still going to be warm and muggy, but temperatures take a huge drop and struggle to get back to 70 for highs Tuesday compared to near 80 for Monday.